Okay, what we have here is the Czechoslovakian built Avia 510 series propeller. As part of the Power 90 program, you're required to pull the propeller blades out of the hub at 800 hour intervals to check for corrosion among the threads. So, let's get started. It is very important before you begin to make note of these scribe lines on each propeller blade as this is your alignment mark during reassembly. First step is to remove the de-ice block. Sliding out this protective dust cover reveals the three screws that hold onto the wires to the de-ice boot itself, which again, I think is a really cool setup. Okay. Once the three screws are removed, the plastic plate comes off and you can take the wire assembly and you can move it out of the way so that you can remove the blade. Now right here is the, is the clamp that holds the, holds the blade in place. Remove this cotter pin, loosen the bolt, and from there, just unscrew the propeller blade. Once the bolt is loose, it's a very simple process of grab the propeller blade and untwist it until it comes out. Block the other side, because once it's removed, the, blade's, the whole propeller assembly is going to want to rotate. So, apply a little pressure. and the whole blade will screw up. And just like that. Once you have the blade on the table, Remove all of the old grease and the dust seal. Give it a good look over, and the main thing that you're looking for is corrosion, either in the blade itself or the hub. Clean it off, and then the dust seal can be reused if it's in good shape, or just replace it. And then from there, give the blade and the hub a light dusting of AeroShell 6, and then you're ready for reassembly. Okay, once the threads have been inspected, as well as the blade hub, it's time for reassembly. All right, what we have here is a Czechoslovakian built Avia 510 series propeller blade. Shit. I always want to say blade. <clears throat> so undo the, undo the two screws that hold on the base protective, undo the two screws that hold on the a cover plate that, uh, so undo the cover plate that protects the three wires that screw into the heater itself. <laughs> it's just like that. So once these three screws are removed, the plastic retainer comes out and you can move the entire three wires. You can move the, and you can. Now there are those who believe that these propellers, the, there are those who believe that the blades are fairly important. So this bolt is going to be very tight. So just be prepared to put a little muscle into it. <laughs> 